Hi, my name is Susie and welcome to Create and Craft with Artisan. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful lanterns just from a balloon, some tissue paper, some glue and some flowers and leaves. It's very simple and let's get started. Now, if you happen to have some pressed flowers or leaves at home already that you've made a few weeks ago and stuck in a heavy book, that is great. If you haven't but you want to get started straight away, um, then you can use fresh flowers and leaves from your garden. Um, if you've got something like a bit of conifer like this, you can just use it straight away as it is. But most things will need a quick press with a warm iron. Um, if you are a bit young to be using hot iron, then get somebody else in your household to do this bit for you. All you need um, is a bit of tissue paper. Let's just move this out of the way. And just put your, your leaf or your flower between two bits of tissue paper like that. And then I've just got a thing here that I can press on, which is going to protect my table. And just give it a gentle press, and that will quite quickly turn it into a pressed flower or leaf. It will go kind of crisp and very dry, and you will be able to use it straight away. And you can do this with pretty much any flowers or leaves in your garden. Um, I find pansies work really well. You will find that the really strong coloured ones, the colour will bleed a little bit into the paint, or rather into the uh, PVA glue uh, when you stick it down to your tissue paper. But I quite like that effect, you get almost like a halo of colour around it. Um, but if you don't want that then, then just stick with leaves and that will be absolutely fine. Now if you're making one of these in the autumn, you could just pick up dried leaves from the ground and use them as they are and that will be fine. But if you're doing this in the spring like we are, then you will need to iron your leaves until they are dry. So once you've done that, you'll have a perfect leaf that you're ready to stick onto your project. So I'm just going to put that there for now, do with about another minute's ironing. But I know you want to get stuck in straight away with, uh, with making your lantern, so we will carry on. Right, so take your balloon, um, just blow it up about this much. You don't want to blow it up completely, otherwise there'll be no kind of room for manoeuvre. Because as your lantern dries, it will shrink a little bit. And so you want some kind of give in the balloon, otherwise it'll pop as your lantern dries. And that would be very sad. So take your balloon, blow it up about this much, get your tissue paper. Or as I say, if you don't have tissue paper in the house, you could use some thin white paper and that would also work. Okay, so as you'll remember from previous videos, all paper has a grain to it, so it'll tear more easily in one direction than another. The grain on my tissue paper is this way, so I'm just going to tear that into some strips like that. And then I'm going to take those strips and tear them this way and that will just give me a nice pile of pieces to work with. There we go. So, once you've got your bits of tissue paper, just move this iron out of the way, there we go. Um, get your slightly watered down PVA and just start putting it directly onto your balloon. Now, you don't need to um, put Vaseline on your balloon first. Because the balloon is nice and shiny, you'll find that the um, tissue paper mache won't really stick to it permanently, so you'll be fine. So lay that on there. Note that I'm putting the glue onto my balloon, not onto my tissue paper. Um, that's very much easier to work with that way. And just take each piece and slightly layer it over the next one. And you just want to keep doing that until the whole of your balloon is covered. And um, you'll find it slightly easier to work with um, a dark coloured balloon than a white one because it just helps you to see um, how many layers you have put onto your balloon because you're able to see the layers that are lighter um, are obviously not as thick as the layers that are darker. Okay, right. So, as you can see, very, very simple. Just layer all the paper over your balloon and then just keep going until you've got about four layers of tissue paper all over the whole thing. Once you've done that, it will look a bit more like this side here and you are able to put on your flowers or your leaves. So I'm going to work with these pieces of conifer here. So again, just put some glue straight onto your paper mache balloon. Stick that on there like that. Might want a bit more glue actually. Here we go. 
little bit stickier. There we go. Okay, and then take a piece of tissue paper and this time I'm going to put a little bit of glue into the middle of my paper and then I'm just going to lay that over the top like that and I'm going to use my brush to really work into all the creases around that leaf and get it stuck down really nice and firmly and the more glue that you put onto your tissue paper especially if it's PVA the more translucent it will become and when that is finished you'll be able to see your leaf or your flower really really clearly so that one's got a little stalk that's sticking up so we might just need a bit more paper on there to hold that down there we go so once you've covered the whole of your balloon uh, with your flowers or your leaves just leave it to dry um, it will almost certainly take until the next day to be completely dry or certainly by the end of the day if you've made it first thing in the morning right put that over there and we'll take this one here that i made yesterday now this is the scary moment where you get your drawing pin or your needle or whatever and you're going to pop your balloon so here we go there we go and as you can see the balloon inside is just shrunk like that and it has left my lantern i'm most relieved to say um completely in touch uh, intact rather so there we have it so now um you can put your lights inside now i think these light strings are really good because obviously they're totally safe um, but you could alternatively use a candle so if i just pop that inside there you can start to see what that is going to look like and of course this is being filmed in a brightly lit room if we were in the dark you'd be able to see that much more clearly now if you want to put a candle inside instead you can do but do make sure that you have got um, a glass to put your candle into to be absolutely safe and then you just want to drop that inside your lantern like that and then of course the problem we have is how are you going to light that candle because your match is not going to reach so what you do is get a match sellotape it to a skewer uh, this is my solution anyway and then light that match with one that you've struck against the box blow that out and then you can light your candle in your lantern without burning your fingers and there we go and again you can imagine on a dark night that would look absolutely beautiful if you are going to use real candles do make sure that you don't leave it unattended i'm going to blow that one out for now now to make your handle is very very simple all you need is a biro with a good point on it find a, a part of your lantern that's nice and strong and just press through to make a hole go to the opposite side do the same thing again and then just get some wire some ordinary garden wire will be fine. I quite like this because it's red, which is my favourite colour. Just cut a piece of that. But string would be absolutely fine. You don't have to use wire. And then I'm just going to thread that piece of wire through the little hole that I've made and just bend that around to make it secure at one end. And the same on the other side. If you wanted to you could be really fancy and do kind of spirals or different shapes with your wire handles to make them really decorative there we go and there it is done super simple so i really hope that you have enjoyed this video i hope you have loads of fun making lots and lots of lanterns to decorate your home or your garden with and if you've enjoyed it, do give us a thumbs up and we really appreciate it. Also, have a look at our website and find out about all the amazing artisans that we work with here in the UK and the developing world as well. We do lots of different things with paper. And this is an example here. These cards have been made by our differently able artisans that we've trained in Ecuador. And you can find out all about their stories on the website and buy their work as well if you would like to support them. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.